All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Rich in the chair. How are you doing, man? All right, yeah. So, I'm good, mate, I'm good. Yeah. So we spoke before then when you you were you yeah. were originally booked in to see me. Yeah. Be, and it was, was it your wedding haircut, is that right? Yeah, it was my wedding. And then, September, yeah. that was right, September, and then you had an idea of where you wanted to go with it, yes. and you weren't really there. So I, yeah. I made the decision yeah. to say, don't bother coming yet, because I'm not yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted your opinion, really. Sure thing. So originally, when we discussed, I wanted to go for kind of like Jason Momoa yeah, I remember, yeah. kind of style, which was yeah, sort of like this. Yeah, man. Originally, it was that kind of style, um, and then because of just going through it, like normally I'd just tie it up. I've got a little bit of an undercut now. Okay. But then when I you can, say a little bit, what what, have you, what are we talking about? So normally I would just tie it up. So a little bit on the sides. Normally I'd go for like a number two. So it's just here. Oh, okay. And then yeah, really on the back, back as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Normally I wouldn't wear it out, normally I'd just tie it up in a bun okay. or something right. like that. Okay, okay. Then I've been looking at sort of this kind of middle part in messy, so it's still long on top and it's not like, I'm guessing the sides aren't there using a blade, it's just cut with scissors, mm, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bit of a taper. I don't ever want to go short, short again. I've had loads and, and loads of styles. Okay. So I've been growing it just oh, geez. Wow. from that. Wow. It's not even been two years yet. When you have anything like an undercut in, in such long hair, when you've got such a disconnection. Yeah, yeah. When you try something new, it's very, you've got to kind of grow it out. You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of them haircuts there are like, as you said, scissor cut. Mm -hmm. But when you've got no sides, and no yeah. neck, when, you still, when you separate the back and sides, yeah. you realise how important these little bits are when <laughs> yeah, it comes yeah. to changing your hairstyle. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We, when, we're, when we're thinking about a haircut, we have to break it down into the, the stages of back and sides, the mm -hmm. top, Etc. And then you go to things like a bit more, a bit more in depth, like the fringe, the crown, the sideburns, and everything. Yeah. Like that. When you start to look at the hair, because like more than just looking at one picture of an image, we as a barber and hairdresser, we have to look at how we're going to make that happen, right? Yeah, of course. So we have to look at the stages we're going to we're going to we're going to match, we're going to we're going to meet. We've lost quite a big chunk of the sides. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we've got this left to play. Mm -hmm. So we've got this kind of triangle here now. If you look at that, yeah. So we've almost got maybe just over half of the sides left. Mm -hmm. A graduation has to go from that length up into oh. something. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's just going to be a wedge mm -hmm. the whole time. Mm -hmm. So it's how do we how do we make that work? The back, however, is different, right? Because there's a lot more area of the back that we can kind of just go for like a really tight fade on the neckline and then blend yeah. it out that way. That's not an issue. It's just the sides. You take away a lot of the temple as well. So that's essentially what you're taking away. So if I was to cover your hair mm -hmm. and I was to show you that, you'd think you had shaved sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you let it go and you've actually got lots of hair. So mm -hmm. because I've gone, because it's gone at that point there, which I understand why it's happened and it's worked really well for this hairstyle you have now. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. For anything yeah. like a change, it's very hard to make work. Yeah. Because when you shave up to there, that's the bit you never, ever shave into when it comes to blending into something because yeah. you normally keep it to like the temple here. Mm -hmm. But then when you take it to there on that angle, we take away all the temple. So when we go to blend that in, We've got to remove this bit and this bit and this bit and this bit and you end up with a mohawk, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. basically, right? Or into your fringe you end up going into. Because it looks very fresh. It looks maybe, what, is it a couple of weeks old? Uh, three weeks? Yeah, something like about three weeks. Probably, yeah, about three weeks like old. Um, so three weeks from a shaved sort of undercut into yeah. something like that. If you want something brand new, a blank canvas, like an actual blank canvas yeah, is yeah, better. Yeah. Just think we need to kind of rethink a, a look for today. Yeah, that's, that's going to allow right, us mate, to yeah. grow the, the undercut out, you know what I mean? So, yeah, well, I mean, whatever you think's best, mate, you're, you're top G, so. Because <laughs> I do love that haircut, I just don't I just don't know what we can do. So I think what we can get to for that point, because I want to try and keep the undercut in there mm. and work with it. Because it is only three weeks old. It's so fresh. You yeah, know what I mean? it's really, really I fresh. I mean, I love all the Vikings kind of hairstyle and stuff like that as well. And I do I do prefer long hair now having long hair. Yeah, but you do, yeah, yeah. You've got a couple of options where you could either full Viking, mm -hmm. shave the sides, mm. have it hanging over, or do something on a bit of slightly shorter scale of the haircut now. Yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. grow the sides up from what they are now. So yeah. don't touch the undercut, leave the undercut to grow, hide it with your hair, Yeah, and then grow it up from there. I'd say they're the two... Personally, again, it's only my opinion. Yeah. They're the two best options in my head right now. Yeah, I think yeah, would yeah. work for you. So you're leaning more towards the, sh like you said, kind of this, but just shorter rather than full on biking. I'd say so, yeah. I think something like that would work. Because it's not a million miles away from what you've got now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you want to go shorter, instead of sacrificing and doing a Vikings like shave sides, yeah, which yeah. would end up, you know, like we said, it could grow out quite, quite a lot. And it would, mm -hmm. it would, you know, you might, 
like being under a lot of stress when you're trying to grow up, like two yeah, really yeah. disconnected and hands. then regretting it like oh, potentially too regretting short, it. Like, yeah yeah thing. potentially yeah, regretting yeah, yeah. it at least then when you've got something along the lines that it's not a million miles away from what you've got now you've got yeah. a similar look even in the beard as well mm -hmm. so I think it'd be a good transition into the eventually yeah. the haircut that you want to go for yeah um, man. yeah sounds good I think so yeah, yeah let's go for it alright cool man yeah. sweet nice let's awesome. give it a shampoo and condition alright and then we'll go from there alright man sweet so uh, I'm going to start off with a horseshoe because then it'll allow me to see the back and sides uh, and then we can kind of cut accordingly to that as well. All right, so I'm going to start off with the horseshoe section and we've got that kind of 90s Johnny Depp sort of early 2000 look it, it just as a reference point. But another another reference is like that kind of surfer look, which I think is also what he has as well. You know what I mean? I think it's just because it's on Johnny Depp, you associate it with Johnny Depp being in a suit and whatnot. Put some beers in it and look like Jack Sparrow then as well. Yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You got the tats, mate. You got the tats. <laughs> there we go. So we're just gonna match it up to the other side now. So let's go. Um, so when we're looking here, we've got got to think we haven't got that bit. But that's not going to be an issue for this style because we're, we're we're able to keep a lot of length in. But I wanted to sort of frame the face. So I want to almost give these a bit of a shorter finish through here, so it sits a bit more around the face shape. And what that'll do, it'll just hug your face a little bit and bring the point of the chin in. Mm -hmm. I think it'll just really bring out your face shape. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Gonna use two fingers in width as a guide. So we're taking some length off. I'm going to take off about that because we still need to leave some length in it, right? But the angle of my fingers is going to be like this. So it's short at the top and longer towards the bottom, okay? So we get a shorter finish up here and it gets longer down the bottom, okay? And then you'll see the angle of my cut like that. So I'm just angling my, my fingers, putting them more towards the wall, bringing it down. And all this is doing it's giving me a really good guide for when I come to connect the top. So I'm going to work through the top vertical and basically connect up to that angle there. So I'll work on that angle there, using that as a guide, pulling it forwards, other than that, because this section's done now. So only do this when you've done the section behind this, because you're using this as a guide. If I was to cut this section, in length, primary shape, then pull it into the face, then let it, let it fall back, the guide would be different. So I'm just coming to the last section now. So I'm pulling everything back. So don't forget, we're going to frame the face in a minute. So I'm going to pull everything back into that section like we did before. Got my guide, still following the same angle. There we go. And we'll cut that in and I'm going to frame the face as well. So love or money then Dan, final question. Love or money, oof. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think I'd choose love, mate. Yeah. If I, if I, if I could, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think so. I mean, honestly, right, have you got, have you got children, Rich? I've got two, mate. you got yeah, two? Yeah. The look your kids give you when they, when they wake up in the morning, right? But if they're, not if they're teenagers, but you know, if they're young kids, right? <laughs> let's, let's look at it right. Before teenage years, right? The look they give you, and you get that like unconditional love and feeling. Yeah. No money, no price can can be put on that, right? Yeah. I don't think so anyway. Definitely. Kids wake up moaning, mate. So. <laughs> I don't know yeah, most most about. most days mind them as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, but um, you know, think back to the days when they never. Okay. Yeah, think about that yeah. that look, right? You know. <laughs> but uh, I'm just cutting the back uh, shorter, so it obviously sits into that kind of like uh, more just over the shoulder length. You know, that's the sort of look we're going for through here, and then we'll take that. And just have a nice balance through there. So again, that safer kind of vibe, a little bit shorter at the nape, so you get a little bit more kind of um, solid length in a sense. Nice texture in a second with the, the secondary shape we're gonna put in there, but I just want to cut the nape in now and then we'll start working on the sides and the neck and everything else. So as you can see, that's the angle we're working on. I wanted to frame the face a little bit and then just keep the angle going like so. Work that straight down the bottom there. Right, there is the back and sides done, the secondary shape put in, and that's the kind of, so that is it without anything in it, right? Yeah. And it's just drying on its own, right? That's the sort of wave we're creating in it. So we're creating that more beachy texture, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the top in to match, and then I'm gonna show you how the salt spray works as well. Sweet. All right, because I think the salt spray look really cool. Again, it gives you that beachy texture, that's the, the idea we're going for, right? I'm gonna take a section right down the middle, like so. Right down the center, like that. 
And then I'll take another section just in between the recession and the, the middle, so about there. I'm just going to clip that down. Yeah, I actually want to keep that centre part in. I'll lift this up. Starting from this part here, so not from the temple, from that first section we took along the sideburns. I'm going to pull that across and find the angle. There we go. I'm going to take that length down. About finger width sections because we're doing a transition here, so I wanted to kind of blend in. So the sections are a little bit thinner than what they were on the sides. So I'm just following that guide. Pulling it back to past the recession. Following the same angle all the way around the head. Same angle. We just match up to the section beneath. There's my section there. Like Same angle. There we go. Same angle. And we just follow it. Now, finally, right down the centre. This is where we match the two peaks. There we go, a little point. We just take it off a little bit. But the camera can't pick up my belly rumbling. Did you hear that? There? <laughs> I can hear Jesus. it. Jesus. <laughs> Mommy fast and I couldn't believe that was that was just like that was like talking to me then like you need to feed me now. <laughs> You've been doing that long? About nine months. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was gonna say to you to be fair, you can tell the difference. Yeah, I've lost yeah, about five yeah. stone, mate, and yeah. it's all yeah, 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 it's mad. That's mental. Just intermittent fasting and not drinking, mate. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah. Hundred percent man. Watching yeah. your calories and that. God knows, don't even do it. So I'll eat between twelve and eight. Yeah, but I'll have like it. one meal or I'll have like loads of fruit in the day as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. I've just managed to lose so much weight without having to go to the gym once. Yeah, that's good. And, it's, and I've toned up and all that, like, which is really strange actually. I was surprised how lean I got yeah. without any gym work. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was genuinely, I, I've done no, I've done, I've done like maybe like three home workouts yeah. in the whole time. Best way to lose weight, obviously you're going to have to be in a calorie deficit as well, right? Yeah, that's because right. Because yeah. if you're in a surplus, you're not going to lose weight. Yeah. If you're in a calorie deficit, best thing to do is just a brisk walk. Oh, yeah. So if you've got a dog or if you've got a family, you just go out for a walk. You're going to raise your heartbeat a little bit, but not too much so you work in your cardio. Right, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, you're, so you're like fat burn and motor, they burning. call it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. But that way, it's, it's one of them, isn't it, mate? You've got to kind of just, uh, you know... You've just got to keep, yeah, eat less, work out more. It's not rocket science, I suppose. Nah. It's just being able to, it's just having the mentality to do it, isn't it? You know, I think a lot of it is mindset, yeah, you've got, isn't it? You've got to be ready for it. Just yeah. like, I've tried to grow my hair out a few yeah, yeah. times before and mentally I'm like, nah, I'm going to cut it off. But this time, obviously growing it out, went yeah, through yeah, it totally, and I was yeah. solid with it. So anything is mentality, mate. 100%. I'm just doing a bit of freehand down the bottom now just to make it look really natural. Like so, and then I'm just going to, Slide into the ends, a bit like what you do with the razor, just a bit chunkier though. So I just want them ends to be really flipped out. I think it looks a lot more beachy that way as well. And also, don't forget, because because Rich is, is almost like growing it to then get a new haircut, I want this to be like super, super textured. So the more texture you put in it now, in the right place, not just chunks out, you know, like proper slide cutting and whatever else. What you'll find is that as it grows out, it grows out with the texture as well. But just make sure that, you know, nice sharp scissors. So again, just using the razor and then using this, it's just like a really good mixture of technique because the razor gives a bit more of a kind of slice, kind of like more more finer in a sense, where this is a lot chunkier. But Richard's hair can kind of get away with it, so. Cool. So I want to show uh, Rich how to use a salt spray um, to get the best out of the, the haircut. So what I'm going to do, so just making sure we spray this in. Now be, be quite, um, quite, heavy on the salt spray, okay? Nozzle off, diffuser on, 
So high heat, medium speed, okay? And all you do, like a, like a hood, right? Pinch it flat. And that'll just encourage it to sit in the weight and then natural weight. So all I'm doing is accentuating your natural weight. Yeah, okay? yeah. The razor, the scissors all being in use as well, just creates that similar effect as well. Such an effortless style, you know? That's what I was saying to you like about the product, just enhancing it, you know? So effortless. I'm just, just scrunching your hair and pinching your hair through. That's basically what's giving you this look, you know? Press the cold air button on your hair dryer if you've got one. Or just, it's just to speed it up, really. Yeah. But it just puts a nice shine, it takes away any frizz. It sort of sets the style for you, okay. you know what I mean? Now, if you just lean your head back for me, if you don't mind. Come up forward, and then just shake it left and right for me. Perfect. So there's that kind of Johnny Depp-esque kind of yeah, look. Yeah. Loads of texture, just used a salt spray. And that's the sort of shape you get. I think it looks really nice, man. Yeah, man, so do I. So with that, and then with obviously um, the shorter hairstyle within like six months, however yeah. long to take, with that in mind, with my upkeeping now, would I still taper in the sideburns or the back or just literally leave literally. it right now, yeah? Okay. You can't see you've got an undercut right now. No, you can't. If you walked out in the street, no one would have a clue you've got an undercut. Mm. And I think that needs to be the same. I need to, you just need to keep going with it. Yeah. So you can still Even get a haircut. I can still get it up as well though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. Still get it. You, it's just gonna be the growing process for now yeah. of them, of them little bits here. So all yeah. you're doing is growing the sides yeah. and the neck out really. Yeah, and that's it, yeah. Everything else has still got a nice haircut on the, on, yeah, on the yeah. go, you know what I mean? So I would probably just, I just, Try and wear it down as much as you can. Okay. Uh, that'll cover it for a long time. And yeah. then obviously when you come to tie it up, you probably have a good bit of length in there anyway. Yeah, yeah. And then go from there. But I think it looks great, man. It looks lovely. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Suit Appreciate you later, it, man. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Awesome.